Hey Airtable, how can I get more context about my records? Do I need to like write code to see who created or updated a record in my base? You can use computed fields to automatically get the information you need. And no, you don't need to know a lick of code. Welcome to Tool Tips, where we share quick and helpful ways to use Airtable. Today, we're introducing computed fields and exploring how teams can use computed fields to get quick insight about their records. First, let's define what a computed field is in Airtable. Computed fields describe field types that update based on conditions you've set. They're automatically computed within a specific field in your table, rather than directly edited by a collaborator. Computed fields allow you to do things like create custom calculations, run automations, and so much more. But for now, let's dive into one simple way you can use computed fields in your workflow. An easy way you can use computed fields is to track when records have been created or changed in your base or interface. This creates a handy paper trail that you can reference at any time. There are four computed fields that can be used to track information in your base. Created by shows which contributor originally entered the information in your record. Created time tracks when something was created. Last modified by shows which person last updated an entry. And last modified time tracks when the last edit occurred. Want to stay on top of all of your incoming records? like new tasks tied to a marketing campaign? Add created by and created time fields to your grid view to see exactly who added what to your base and when. And to make your content review interface as detailed as possible, consider surfacing a last modified time field so approvers know which assets have been recently updated. Using computed fields gives you much needed context and helps you remain informed about critical information. Be sure to check out our guide below for more ways to use computed fields in Airtable, and customize your own fields in your app.